Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to flash the 1203 USB um, communication module. Um, this is the module you use to communicate to a PowerFlex drive or a uh, Kinetics drive, um, either serial port or um, whatever COM you may be using. Um, <clears throat> you know, there's two cables that go with it. A uh, primary one that everybody uses is the serial port. Uh, so first and foremost, I want to go ahead and uh, I've opened up my device manager, basically. So um, my device manager under my computer. So which is that's where I'm at right now. And what I like to do is I like to um, make sure that I see it when it's plugged in. So I'm going to plug it in now. Now, if by chance you don't see it pop up under ports and you don't see the Allen Bradley 1203 USB pop up, then you need to put the driver in it, um, which most time it will automatically pop up. And um, if it doesn't, though, you can get the um, the firmware and or not the firmware, but you can get the um, the driver and stuff off of. Uh, off of the, the Rockwell website, but I think it should, I mean, most of the time it, it should actually prompt from the device. So, um, you should be able to right click and update, you know, driver software or whatever the case may be or scan for it. Your normal stuff that you normally do. So, but, uh, not to take away from this video, I want to go ahead and get to the point where we're flashing. So, um, you cannot use the flash. <clears throat> I don't, I'm not sure that you can't. Um, I mean, we can try it real quick, I think. Um, so we'll see if it allows a 1203 USB. I have the flash in here. So, um, which is another thing too, if you do not have the firmware for a 1203 USB, just go search the firmware on the Rockwell website and you should see it. So what I'm doing right here is just going through and picking um, I should see the COM module <clears throat> and it may not allow me to do this I, I actually I choose to do it a different way so I'm just kind of curious to see if it allow me to do this and best way to do it oh there there we go so you can actually flash from here um, looks like so let's just click the and then we'll go to the module which is not showing it's popped up so um, <clears throat> let's kill this let's kill this and let's open up links again so um, with me unplugging and plugging back in sometimes what happens with the 1203 USB is it loses um, RS links being that that's the using the DF1 driver sometimes loses the position um, that it's in you know I mean not the position but it uses loses the connection and you have to reestablish the connection uh, so just note that uh, shutting down RS links and starting it back should do that <coughs> yeah okay so let's go Let's go right here. Let's go to Flash Program, Flash, uh, go to Network, and then we'll choose this again. Come up, and it should show it. Um, then you can connect to the Flash. Um, our current version is the latest version, so you can just flash it if you want. The second way, um, so I'm, I'm not going to go through the, the Flash of that. Um, <clears throat> actually I will, I'll just go ahead and flash it, it's not a big deal, let's just, so what I want to do is just show you that you can do it, right, um, I'll flash it this way, and then I'll flash it the second way that I'm talking about as well, which, just know that you have two different options you can do, um, you know, this being the more probably used one, but let's just say for instance that, um, you want other options. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with that, right? So what it's doing, it's flashed and it's resetting my device right now. Um, it should be popping up shortly. <clears throat> so 
so I had several different blocks. So <clears throat> using the boot mode versus um, boot code. I'm sorry versus something you know. So the regular firmware. So we'll let it go through its motions, its motions, and um, you know go back and do the second method too. So therefore, anybody that wants to see um, multiple ways of doing this, because there's always multiple ways of doing one thing, and um, like I said, it's just it's good to know what you can and can't do, um, because there's a lot of speculation, a lot of questions around the 1203 USB. Uh, whether it's not working, working, um, whether it's uh, USB compatible or, you know, or whether it, how should I say this, um, different operating systems cause different problems. So I'm on a Windows 7 virtual. <clears throat> so just know that um, it's not like, I mean, I'm, I'm using the basics, basic parameters, uh, our basic set up for the OS system right I'm not using anything special um, as long as your computer is acceptable to a USB you should be able to do what I'm doing okay so it did flash successfully um, let's close this out and I'll show you the second way okay so we're still connected right so uh, let's go to dry tools um, <clears throat> Drive Tools, Drive Executive. We'll go to Drive Executive. Um, we'll actually connect to our drive. And I do have a Kinetic 6000 hooked to this right now. <clears throat> and if for those that want to see how I did that, I'll have the video linked below. Um, so the Kinetic 6000 is there. You can right click on the 12 and notice so Let's just go through this real quick. Um, the the Kinetic 6000 and its parameters are above, and the communication module that I'm communicating with, with the arrow pointing to it, is right here. <clears throat> so it the, how you're communicating, to, and this does show all the drives parameters for both. So um, you know if I wanted to see my device parameters for this as well, so you can right click and you can go to properties. For the device and you can go to and see all the firmware attributes of that drive or of that uh, USB um, 203 USB you can click uh, flash so it, it's kind of not skim through that right <clears throat> so we pop into general and then we go to comp component details and then we go to flash and then we select, make sure you select the right right thing, right? The 1203 USB and not the servo drive because it won't let you do that anyway. But let's just make sure we do it right. Um, when you come up here, generally speaking, you're not going to see this path. Um, you're going to see just this path. Um, I've already pointed it to this path to save time on the video. So... <clears throat> what I did is I basically said um, and I come in here and uh, basically went through and found the, the the flash that I needed so if you go through and go to um, <clears throat> where your flashes are and let's just say it's right here and then it's right here so you see <clears throat> I went ahead and found it um, your control flash software does this for you um, but it just note if you use this method that you will need to do exactly what I just did right so now I have I can have my, both my versions in here that I can pick to use um, I'm gonna use the same thing okay so now it's flashing and just note that you have to have the boot bin if you are using this <clears throat> So, um, if you notice, uh, let's just look at this real quick. Uh, you notice the files that come with this, right? So you have the full, you have the boot bin, you have the combo. Um, they don't 
Okay, so Rockwell Builder, their Flash software to um, basically be used with any um, anything they need to. So they want options just as well as we do. So now it's going to go into doing the combo. <clears throat> so you can see the details. So you can see the the steps that the Flash takes in this manner. Whereof in the control flash, it just tells you that it's going block one, block two, resetting each to each between each block, and then you know, kind of just um, as soon as it's finished, it goes green. So <clears throat> in this instance, you know, it, it kind of breaks it down a little bit further, so you kind of understand the detail that they do. And you know, it's to me, it's good to know that, right? Because you want to know if something fails where it failed at because if, if if you're talking to tech support or something and you say well uh, and this doesn't pertain to flash so much as it does other stuff but if you say well this is happening okay so they're going to have you 21 questions and if all of a sudden you can't answer those or you you don't if you know say for instance you do have an answer well it's it stopped here or it stopped here that leads them in the correct direction to help you out um so sometimes that is very valuable or you can answer your own question um you know that's that's pretty much what you know what's happening so if you understand what's going on um this is it helps me out a lot more <clears throat> so now it says it's complete so again um and the same thing goes for the servo drive if you were going to do the servo drive um so let's just go to Okay, so it's not communicating right now, um, which makes sense. So let's go to uh, drives. Okay, cool. Um, connect. Yeah, yeah, sorry, it's not communicating. Okay. All right, so let's go to here. Um, and it may lose connection when it does that because it's rebooting so you have one software talking you have drive tools talking to a drive and then you interrupted the connection flashing the, the the firmware that could happen so all you do is just close it out and open it back up you can do the same thing with uh, the servo drive so it gives you a lot more information just go over here from general to status feedback uh, process um, then go to again component details um, it shows you the boot codes shows you everything you hit flash you come in here you see it's going to show where the um, again it shows you the file location that it's looking for um, you're going to have to dig down and find it um, and it does take a second to find it so I'm not going to do it in this video but uh, I just note that you can do it you can flash the servo with a USB, a 1203 USB. Um, it's just the same same process as I just did with the 1203 USB driver, which is basically the um, you know the way you're communicating to it. So in this focus, you can you can flash the communication module, and you can flash the actual Kinetic 6000. So just know that. Um, Anyway, so uh, not to, to drag this on too much longer, I just want to uh, show that, you know, how to flash a 1203 USB um, and kind of give you a little bit more detail on what's what and why. So um, it's very important to understand this type of stuff. So uh, real quick after this, um, we'll go ahead and uh, wrap this video up and I'll come back and show a couple more different videos on the 1203 and the uh, Kinetic 6000. They will all be linked below, so hopefully they'll be easy to find for you. So hopefully, you know, whichever one you want to find, or if you just want, you know, just want to know different ways. I mean, it's always, I always find it interesting to know different ways. So I hope you find this stuff interesting and helpful, and um, it's, you know, helping you out. And uh, just uh, let me know if you, you have any more ideas or videos or stuff you want to see, and I'll be glad to help. All right, thank you.